You're watching Fox 13's Good Day Tampa Bay. Okay, it's Ask a Lawyer Day. Fox 13 lawyers are here until uh, 9.30 or so this morning. Dale Appel yes. here, one of our lawyers, always here with us, so thank you. You're Good welcome. to see you. Good morning. All right, here's what we're going to talk about. One of the biggest purchases people make on Valentine's is the engagement ring. It is the day that a lot of men want to propose. And Dale's here to tell us what happens if you, uh, to that ring, that engagement ring, if you break up before the wedding. And I think a lot of people are going to be surprised, and it's going to have to do with who says what in terms of I don't want to get married, right? Yes. All right, let's start. If, 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 if the lady says to the guy, we can't even get into same-sex marriage here because that's going to be even more okay. confusing. But if the lady says to the guy, I don't want to marry you, what happens? She has to give the ring back by law. So you would think, as you're saying, that you would assume she gets to keep it because she gave it to the gift, and it's a gift. That's what you would think. But the law says it's a conditional gift, conditioned on marriage. The person asks, will you marry me? And the lady says, yes, I will. If she doesn't, then she broke the conditional gift, and she has to give the ring back. Okay. What if they decide mutually we don't want to get married? Mutually, she has to give the ring back still. The condition on the conditional gift wasn't met. She has to give, by law, the ring back. Okay, then the guy, the proposer, says he does not want to get married. It's different. Yes. If the person who gave the ring says, I don't want to be married, then he's the one that didn't allow the condition to happen. So she gets to keep the ring in that situation. Now, when does that, does, I mean, you, you hate to have to talk about this, you but too. at what point does it go to a judge? I mean, does, I mean, does when it? When the two parties can't agree. <laughs> so, you know, maybe if the woman says, I'm not going to get married to you, it's not, um, I'm going to go ahead and give you the ring back, there's not an issue. Or if the uh, man who proposed says, I'm going to not get married to you, keep the ring yeah. as a gift, no problem. But if they start fighting about who gets the ring, that's when a lawsuit may incur, and then the judge is going to ask these questions, and then each party is going to have to prove up their facts. Somebody's going to have to prove who broke it, who broke the engagement. Better be some heck of a ring, right? If you're going to get a court Well, actually, you say that, but the average cost of rings nowadays, they say, is about $6,500. So, you know, it's a meaningful amount of money, and the fights can ensue. And then you're going to have to prove it up. So, you know, I don't, to, to prepare for these things, just as, as people know about it, yeah. you know, you might send an email or a text message and say, you know, I'm sorry you broke the engagement. Um, I still want to be engaged. I'd love to get married to you and then see what the response is. And then you have something in writing that you can show the judge. Mm -hmm. This is what happened. And you know what? I said something going into this, and, I, and I'm totally wrong in this. I said it, it, it's more complicated when we talk about same-sex marriage. It's really not. It's not. a person who proposes. It's, it's, I mean, whether it's a, a man and a man or a woman and a woman or a man and a woman, it's yes. just the person who proposes. And the, okay. It's still a conditional gift in that situation as well. All right. Think before you leap. Is that what we're saying? It's always true. <laughs> hey, my friend, it's good to see you. Good to and see really, you. thank you. Lawyers are here, and uh, they donate their time and their services for us every month, and we do appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you.